I will stand by you. I will help you through. Hello, guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Katikani Nicolet Mgomezulu, and I am here to conduct a get to know me tag for you guys. You guys asked for a YouTube channel, and here we are. <laughs> So I'm going to be answering the questions you guys asked me on my digest, ne? Because I did note down the questions, so I noted them down on a phone. So now I'm going to be answering those questions. And to those that have already subscribed, thank you guys so much. To those that are new, can you kindly subscribe? Love you loads. So let's start. Um, Guys, I have flu, ne? So ish. if I, if I call... <coughs> <coughs> hey, let's get started and i hope you guys didn't get too personal because i just noted down the questions i didn't really pay attention so the first question is how old are you i recently turned 19 will you ever audition for idols <coughs> i don't know guys me i might um i might not i don't know i don't know we'll see Maybe later in life, but then as for right now, nah, I don't even think about it. What inspired you to start this channel? You guys inspired me to start this channel, but especially my friend, Matapelo Mahampa. If you don't, if you don't follow her, you better follow her. Tapi underscore XX. She inspired me to start this channel, and also you guys put pressure on me, and I love it because you guys were like, "We need a YouTube channel. We need a YouTube channel," and you know. That's I feel like that's the push that I needed to actually start the channel because I had it in mind but I didn't have the energy you know but it's all thanks to you guys oh. I'm here now who inspired you to start dancing obviously come on Pela Ugh. that woman lives in my heart rent free guys lady I love that woman yo I love how she's so I love how she's so independent. Well, when it, even if people are talking shit about her, I am going to defend her no matter the cost. I always defend her no matter how wrong she is. Like, I don't care, guys. A motto you live by. Hey, I got this this uh, quote from Cheslin. He said to me this one time when we were we were talking. He said to me, um, people will only love you and follow you when it's popular. And, you know, I, I sat down and I let that sink in. And he has a point, you know. And that's when I realized, oh, nah, he's right. And ever since that day, that motto, it lives in me. So every time I feel like I'm not getting the support that I deserve and stuff, I, I remind myself, oh, nah, just relax, mama. People will love you and support you when it's popular. When nobody knows you, nobody cares what you do, whether you're talented or not, they just don't care because nobody knows you. And then when they realize that a lot of people are starting to give you attention, that's when they act like they've loved you for the longest time, you see? So, yeah, that's what I got from that motto. That's what I got from it. And I live by that motto. Are you in a relationship? Our taxes are falling apart. Doors are falling. People are falling with the doors. The windows can't close. What? 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 No ways. That's no ways. I am not in a relationship, guys. I am not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. Yeah, let's just leave it there. I'm not in a relationship and that's it. I'm not in a relationship. When did you start dancing? Well, I've been dancing ever since I was a little kid. I remember my 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 teacher when I was in preschool. Yeah, my teacher. She made me dance. At first I was like, mm, cuz you know, you know it's that type of thing where they they just choose. They'd be like, you, 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 and you. And we were dancing. To, I'm a baby girl in the baby world. Yeah, guys. And yo, I killed it, shit. I killed it. I enjoyed every bit of that. Like, I really enjoyed it. But then, I, I didn't really take dancing seriously. It was just like, you know, we just, they just made us do it. So why not? And I did it. And then, uh stopped dancing for quite some time and then when i was in grade nine i remember when there was what's this dance move Guara Guara, yes. i remember when there was Guara Guara. so uh one of my friends was, was like ah can you do that one and then i was like eh. and i was like ah let me try and i tried it and when i tried i killed it 
and i'd like to have you know it was my first time trying it and i killed it like that's when i saw her man okay but then and then from there guys okay from there i didn't dance for oh from there when i got to grade 10 i started dancing hip-hop i started dancing hip-hop it was my thing like you know hip-hop was my thing and then grade 11 i started gom and yo guys gom was so crazy gom was so crazy and then suddenly piano came in i was like what and you know it was very really hard for me to adjust to piano because like it is it's it's more slow because when you listen to gom like we are fighting we're fighting like you know and then listening to piano guys i'm like yo how can i dance to this it's so slow but then you know i kept on taking it a day at a time and yeah it worked out for me it worked out for me in fact now i dance to a more of an i'm a piano dancer than a gom dancer when back then gom was my thing i still love gom i still love gom with my heart i love it lives on my heart rent free and then uh when i got to matric uh, i didn't i didn't dance go matric guys there was covid dance for what dance for what 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 no ways what and then yeah that's it guys that's it that's it and then oh i got to varsity and started my first year i started my first year and um everything was just I was just like, okay, it's cool. I, I still needed time to adjust, you know, to adjust and understand, Hori, okay, this is how it works here. It's not like high school anymore. No one follows you around. This is what you need to do. So I, I needed to find a, I needed to find a, a strategy to go about this whole thing. Hori, this is how I'm going to study. This is how I'm going to do this. This is how I'm going to do that. And if you can take me back to high school now, guys, the engine comes sooner because, wow, the genius, the dangerous oh lies 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 and everywhere is lies <laughs> okay but anyway so um and then during my first year because now i'm doing my second year uh around june around june when second semester started you know i was just like katie why are you sleeping on yourself you really love uh creating content because i've been a content creator ever since i was in high school but i used to create videos just to post on my whatsapp i didn't post on any social media platform just posted on my whatsapp status and people were like wow this is really impressive you should consider you know creating content and i was like because I, I i was i was shy guys i'm someone who grew up with low self-esteem eh? i grew up with low self-esteem and it took a lot for me to start making those videos in the first place Guys, that's when I realized, Hore, nah, man. Why are you thinking? Let's, let's dance. Because, you know, it was a way for me to unwind, you know. Because any, any time I feel sort of like, school is too much, then I dance. Or, and then it became a coping mechanism for me since varsity is quite hectic. It's quite hectic. So it became a coping mechanism for me. That's how I cope with the stress and stuff. The, also, the singing helped a lot. It helped a lot. I still sing. I still sing. But I dance more than I sing now. Okay? So, I dance more than I sing. And around June, July, I started dancing. I remember the first video I did. You guys see it, man. That's the first video I did. And I saw that people engage with that content i saw her okay so they love it when i dance you see and i was like mm, how about we post more content like this and i did that more content more content kept pushing kept pushing and then next thing boom 10k followers it's like what you what so you guys really love this i was like what you guys love what i love so therefore me and you guys we're like What advice would you give to someone who wants to start dancing? Okay, the first thing I'm going to say is that consistency is key. Consistency is key. And it gets really hard, you know. Sometimes you feel like, why am I even doing this? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving and stuff. But you need to tell yourself, Hori, 
you know what i started this for a reason and that reason why you started is the reason why you're gonna keep going that's what i'm gonna tell you guys right now it's really hard guys it's really hard because there's a lot of pressure i mean you look at other people oh she's doing better than me but that's where the problem starts why are you comparing yourself with someone else because you are you and they are a whole different person you need to be authentic need to be original and do not compare yourself with anyone else because when you start comparing yourself with other people that's where the problem starts and it'll fuck with your thingy your confidence it'll fuck with your confidence As lately i actually did quite well for my first youtube video i thought this was gonna be really hard i thought this was gonna be really hard but i hope you guys like it shame i'm not a okay i am a talkative person eh? but when i'm talking to people not because it's even hard for me to go live i feel like i'm talking to myself so it's, i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys enjoy the video engage with my content there's more content coming guys more content coming random content it's just gonna be a i hope you guys and do not forget to subscribe to my channel guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel more content coming soon i love you guys so much and thank you thank you for watching toodles